welcome back to Tina's Test Kitchen. Today I'm in the kitchen making cake jars. Well, cake cups. So let's go over those list of ingredients. We have flour, baking soda and baking powder, vanilla extract, we have some eggs, we have some sugar. I'm going to use some Splenda with mine. I'm making two different flavors, so I'm going to be using some chocolate as well as some lemon. We have our eggs, our milk, our sour cream, our butter, and our Heath Toffee Bits. So let's go over the detailed instructions that you need for the, for the measurements. You'll need two cups of your flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, four egg whites, two sticks of butter, one and a quarter cups of sugar, in my case Splenda. You're going to need one cup of milk, and a half a cup of sour cream. This, you guys, is going to go in the oven at 375. Correction, this will go in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes. So for the tools that we're going to need, I'm going to need a grater. I'm also going to be using my measuring cups as well as my measuring spoons. I have some cups, some cake pans, and look, I actually bought some piping bags for the frosting. Let's get started. All right, we're just adding the last of our ingredients to the chocolate cake mix. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix it. something you guys to kind of scrape the sides of the bowl to get the rest of the ingredients that are on the side. It smells so chocolatey. It says to mix it for about three to four minutes or until all of the ingredients are blended well and it's nice and smooth. You guys I'm using my new GoPro camera so we'll see how this video comes out. So what we have now is a nice and smooth cake mix. I'm gonna let you see what that looks like. As soon as I can control the drips. Okay, so as you can see, it's nice and smooth, very rich and creamy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the cake, in the cake pan. Okay, so we do have it all mixed, so now I'm going to just go ahead and put it in the baking pan. And make sure that it gets into all the corners and that it's all nice and level. That's loud. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get the air bubbles out of the bottom. All right, in the oven it goes. All right guys, same thing with the last cake. This one I'm gonna do is lemon, so I'm going to add some lemon zest as well as um, some lemon juice from the lemon. So I'm just going to zest the lemon just a little bit. Be careful using this, this thing is sharp. All right, so there goes my oven. So the oven is now preheated. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my lemon. All right, guys, so we have our lemon juice from our freshly squeezed lemon. So now, again, we're just gonna mix this for about two to three minutes. This should have a nice lemon flavor. It's not super strong, but definitely noticeable. So you guys, with the chocolate ones, I'm gonna layer the chocolate cake with the heap toffee crunch, and then I'm gonna do a nice chocolate butter cream frosting. I'm also going to do the frosting homemade as well. And I'm gonna do that as soon as I'm done with the cakes. I'm gonna do one in lemon and one in chocolate. So it should be really, really good. Buttercream frosting is pretty simple to make. You just have to make sure that you have a good consistency. So our cake mix 
here is almost finished. Let's speed things along. Same thing as before, I'm going to go ahead and scrape the cake mix off the side. You guys, this smells so delicious. You can definitely tell that there is lemon in here, which is amazing because I love lemon. All right, we're almost done. All right, so again, we have another nice and smooth cake mix that we have. And again, this is the lemon flavor. And I have my cake pan here that I've already greased on the bottom, so that should be all set. Let me move this so it doesn't drip on the counter. Same thing as before, just gonna dump the cake mix in there, and then we are gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is all level, and I will get both of these in the oven at the same time. Again, just gonna kind of get it into each corner, making sure that it's nice and level. That just gets rid of the bubbles that are down at the bottom. All right, in the oven they go. Stay tuned for the buttercream frosting. Okay, so now we've moved on to our buttercream frosting. So for that, we're going to need one cup of salted butter that's softened. Um, this, you guys, is gonna be equivalent to two sticks of butter. We're going to need two tablespoons of milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're also going to need four cups of confection sugar. Let's get started. Okay, so we have our two sticks of butter here. I'm gonna go ahead and get those in our bowl. And you guys, I'm gonna do one in a lemon flavor and one in a chocolate flavor. Again, I'm just going to use the um, juice of the lemon as well as some lemon zest. And then for the chocolate one, I am gonna use my cocoa powder by Ghirardelli. Okay guys, we've gone ahead and mixed our butter with our milk as well as our vanilla extract. And as you can see, it does have a smooth creamy um, texture to it. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to slowly add our four cups of our powdered sugar to the mixture. I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is messy, you guys. process you guys will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes so it's a slow go all right guys we are still mixing it's almost done though I promise then I'm gonna go ahead and split this batch in half for the frosting I'm gonna add my lemon zest as well as my cocoa powder and we will have two separate flavors to go with each individual cake we're still mixing. <laughs> all right, you guys, it is all finished. And as you can see, it's nice and fluffy, very creamy, and it should be delicious. All right, guys, we still have some lemon zest I'm gonna use for the frosting. Not a whole lot, just enough for, again, the lemon tart-ish flavor. I'm also going to use just a tiny bit of lemon juice. Again, coming straight from the lemon. Okay. So for the chocolate one, you guys, I'm only gonna add like 
I don't know, maybe a half a teaspoon of the cocoa powder to the um, to the frosting mix. Again, I haven't made the buttercream standard frosting. One moment, please. Alexa, cancel timer. So we're gonna get these mixed up and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, you guys, so the lemon frosting is all done and as you can see, it is very nice and creamy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the bowl to put in the fridge for a little while before I put it in the piping bag and start layering the cake with the frosting. All right, you guys, and our chocolate one is all done. And again, it looks delicious. Um, not too, too long for this one because it wasn't um, adding any liquid to the mixture. So we've gone ahead and finished our chocolate one. You guys, these things smell amazing. Our cakes are all finished. Those are actually sitting on the top of the stove to cool. Once they are cool, I will go ahead and start layering the cake with the other ingredients. For now, I'm going to get the frosting in the fridge. That way it has a chance to get acclimated. Yes, I'm using a plastic knife. Just to get the rest of the frosting off the spoon. All right, we will be back when the cake circle. All right, everyone, our lemon cake is all finished. So we do have our frosting in my piping bag. I'm not gonna lie, it took me forever to get the frosting in there and it was kind of difficult. So this is probably another reason why I don't use piping bags. Um, moving along. So I do have my little cups here. You can see that they are about a six ounce cup. I do have a little lid and I actually have some lemon curd as well that I'm also going to use with my cake cups. So I tried to figure out an easy way of doing this. And to be honest with you guys, there's really not. Um, I could try and find something small enough that's going to create this size of a circle to get the cake in the bottom. But to be honest with you, that sounds like a lot of time. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to take a chunk of the cake and put it in the bottom. Just going to try and make sure that there's a good portion of cake on the bottom and I'm going to move to the next one and I'm going to do this until I have all 10 of these done. You guys, this cake smells so, so good. Don't want to make, you want to make sure that there's not too, too much cake in the bottom because they still have to have room for the frosting and then as well as the uh, lemon curd on the inside as well. And then we're going to do another layer of cake and then the frosting will go on the very, very top. Um, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. I love lemon. Um, anything that's lemon flavored, cake, candies, I'm not picky. Okay, so now we're adding our lemon curd to the lemon cup to the lemon cups that we have. So I'm just going to layer this, you guys. So I'm going to do a small layer of the lemon curd and then the cake on the top and then I'll top it off with the frosting once I'm finished. You know here it's super hot you guys it's like crazy hot right now um, and I don't want this stuff to melt so I am just going to go ahead and put these in the fridge so that way they stay nice and cold. Okay so I have all of the cake little cups all done. I have the final layer of the cake on the top of each of them. Now it's time to do the frosting. I'm gonna do the lemon ones first, um, followed by the chocolate. So let's get started. And again, please do not judge me on my piping skills for which I have none. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the frosting on the top. Again, you guys, I know these do not look perfect. I do not use piping bags very much. Besides, it's all about the taste, right? <laughs> I 
I'd say I'm a better cook than I am a better baker. Can't forget the little tiny cake, little swirl of frosting. Now you guys all go back in to make sure that I covered most of the cake on the top. So here we have the lemon ones are complete. I'm gonna put the lids on them and get them in the fridge and I'll be right back to do the chocolate. Okay guys, take two with the piping bag. I'm sure it's not gonna be any better than the first time, but here it goes. I think that maybe the issue is that the frosting is too cold because I did have it in the fridge for a while. Um, but again, please, please don't judge me on my on my non-piping skills. I promise you, they're probably going to be really, really good. At least that's <laughs> that's the plan. I like watching those TikTok videos where they're like, oh, they'll never know. <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching this video, you're going to know. But that's okay. I'll ask the ladies tomorrow how they were. And I'm sure they're going to say that they were fabulous. At least that's the, that's the hope. I am going to give it a try, though, just to see what it tastes like. Okay, so again, more toppy bits on the top. You know, you guys, I had my husband try the lemon frosting, okay? I'm like, oh, how is it? He's like, you know, it kind of tastes like buttercream. Yeah, <laughs> it's buttercream. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I had to share. All right, you guys, we have our cake cups that are all done. So here we have our chocolate one with the chocolate little toffee bits and the chocolate cake. Here we have our lemon one with our lemon curd um, on the inside, on in between the layers. And then here are my sample sizes. So let's give it a taste and find out how it is. Again, remember, I love anything lemon. Mm. Oh my God, you guys, this is so, so good. You can taste the lemon in everything. The frosting, the cake, obviously the lemon curd. And that one is really good. All right, let's try our chocolate one. Mmm. Even though I love lemon so much, you guys, I'm going to say the chocolate one is my favorite. I mean, I love chocolate. I do like lemon a little bit more than chocolate because I do like the tartness of the lemon. But these, you guys, are really, really good. All right, so another great dessert that we have in the kitchen. These, you guys, are perfect. These are good for little parties. Again, if you just wanted to have a little bit of cake, not a whole lot of cake, these are a really good idea. Thanks for visiting my channel. Hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button on the way out. And don't forget to leave a comment. Bye, guys. Till next time.